wanna be the one you love. Hey guys, it's Mary B bringing you the mayhem. And yes, we are still covering the Amber Heard Johnny Depp debacle. And I want to let you guys know up front, I'm really sorry for all of the censorship that I have to kind of put in place in order to keep these videos monetized. I do read your comments and I do see the frustration that you guys feel at me having to bleep out words or not say certain words. And I do understand that completely. I wish that I could just speak openly and candidly with you all so that you could know exactly what it is that's being said without having to highlight a word so you can get the understanding. Unfortunately, YouTube is uh, bound and determined to censor this conversation, it seems, in particular, but I, I don't want to back down from covering it, so I'm going to do my best to walk the line and still be able to monetize the work that I put into this. So we're going to get into this today. We had another person come out and defend Johnny Depp, and a lot of, actually, a lot of people have come out in, in Hollywood to defend Don, uh, Johnny Depp. Another person is Doug Stanhope. He, If you're not familiar with that name, he was a comedian over on Comedy Central, host of The Man Show, and a, a friend of Johnny Depp. So we're going to get into into it, what it is that he made a statement about here. Holy Toledo, this is cool. This is cool beans, and I love it. Or at least I love that he's coming to speak out about it, though it's a sad, obviously, circumstance. So Johnny Depp is being blackmailed by Amber Heard, and here's how I know. So actor's friend comic Doug Stanhope says that Amber Heard said that Heard was threatening to lie about him publicly in any and every duplicitous way if he didn't agree to her terms. So it's almost 4 a.m. and I can't sleep. Not even dozing off. Today, a friend of mine is pilloried in the press for domestic, word I can't say, coupled with a picture of his wife with a Word I can't say. He was. Word I can't say. On social media, I watched it happen, and I didn't say an effing word. Even though I knew it was bull, we watched, we'd watched it build like this since before they were even married. We'd watched her manipulate and F with him for years. We didn't say a word. To each other, yes, but never to him. When your friend is in an awful and, word I can't say, a beaut relationship, man or woman, and you risk weighing in that weighing in that their counter are, are their counterpart is a demon, you know the odds are they will jump right back into the fire and then dump you from their life for being honest. And this is true. This is a very true statement. I've had this happen. Um so most of us have been on one or both sides of this coin, choosing to be blinded or removing the people who have clearer eyes that can guide you. The fact that Hollywood and the entertainment industry at large society as a whole turns a blind eye to domestic word I can't say is abhorrent. But the tides have turned in such a way that the mere allegation that such a crime has occurred leaves the person accused as guilty without due process. My friend Bingo and I have known Johnny Depp for years now. We've watched Amber Heard with him in his weakest or watched him at his weakest from being with for the entire time we've known him and we didn't say and we didn't want to be thrown because he's Johnny Depp and we didn't want to be thrown out of the circle for saying that the emperor was being stripped of his clothes it isn't my place to name people who agreed with us but I couldn't name one person closely associated with associated with him that didn't feel the same but nobody said to his face Bingo and I were at Johnny's house for most of that Saturday until just before the alleged. We assumed initially that his dour mood was because of his mother's death the day before, but he opened up in the most vulnerable of ways that was that it was not only his mother, but Amber was now going to leave him, threatening to lie about him publicly in any and every possible duplicitous way if she didn't if he didn't agree to her terms. Blackmail is what I would imagine other people is how I imagine other people might put it, including the manner in which he is now being vilified. We stopped not saying. Bingo and I together and then separately told him how much we were aware of this manipulative hole, close, uh, how his closest circle had all agreed on this since the day we met and that we all feared that telling him outright might alienate us all. Love makes you do funny things. I told him the truth, and I half expected to be asked to leave, but I wasn't seeing Johnny Depp. I saw a naked emperor, and we told him to get dressed. Other people came in and out during the afternoon. 
all verifying that we'd been cowardly, saying things only behind his back for so long. He seemed dumbstruck that nobody had ever come clean about this, and he thanked everyone for being honest. He still pronounced his love for Amber, but was, pres uh, but was presciently aware that she was going to pull off some kind of ruse to him over. He hadn't slept in days with anxiety. You'd call him paranoid if you didn't know better. But we knew better, and he was right. As he finally felt like he could sleep, we left him from what we now know, from what we now read in the news. Uh, from what we now read in the news, later that night, the police were called to his house for a domestic dispute. I hopefully can say that word. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that one. Uh, finding no criminal act had occurred and no physical, no signs of physical, the police left. Everything Johnny had told us that she'd been threatening had actually come to be. It blew up in the news, raced through the internet like a plague, and blew up on Twitter like it was the Mc McMartin child abuse... It's, ugh, it's, ugh, word I can't say. Scandal. Sorry, this is so frustrating, guys. People are swarming with torches on social media. I watched it all happen ahead of time, and I watched it come to fruition today, and I haven't been able to sleep again because I didn't say to defend him. Why? Because I felt like defending him, like in defending him, I would just come across as a sycophant trying to attach myself to a sensationalized story in order to further my career. A latter-day Cato Kalin, and now as the sun is coming up, I realize not saying to defend him is, far worse, is a far worse crime of ego, to leave a friend hanging so you don't look like a suck-up. I, I and the we that were there aren't suck-ups or apologists. We were witnesses. I didn't jump into the fray because I was weak. It was because I didn't want to look like a name dropper. I'll name drop now. Johnny Depp is my friend. But any one of my friends will tell you I always call them out on bull... Abusing women is bull... Johnny doesn't... Anyone. And he told me that day ahead of time that she'd pull some kind of... Like this. Johnny Depp got used, manipulated, set up, and made to look like an hole. And he saw it coming and didn't do, didn't or couldn't do anything to stop it. He may never talk to me again for saying it, but I'd never forgive myself for not coming to his defense out of fear or ego. I stand up for my friends and I tell the f***ing truth. I am so moved to see this because that had to have been really difficult. I'm so grateful to see people come to his aid and his defense here, especially when they saw it coming. And I'm grateful to see them coming out of the woodwork to support him here. Amber, I hope it catches up with you. And I hope that people continue to stand up for Johnny Depp in this situation. It's just one of many, one of many who are coming forward. They saw it coming. And Amber, you are ousted for the liar that you are. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I felt like it was important and I want to highlight every instance that somebody goes ahead and supports Johnny in this situation because it's important. It's so important. So anyway, do me a favor, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about people coming out and supporting Johnny Depp and calling Amber what she is, calling Amber Heard, calling a spade a spade, as it were. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later. Love, love. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and be sure to hit that bell for notifications so you can know when I put out new content. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you around.